I started photography summer of my freshman year of high school. And then that winter, I got my first camera and I started a photo of the day challenge where every single day I'd go out and take a new photo. It was literally just sort of my own creative journey. There's a quote that every single professional was an amateur on day one. And that's kind of like, those are my day ones, right? USC was always my dream school. And I think throughout my journey of transferring to USC, doing my undergrad in international relations, and then sort of struggling through the pandemic, I started to think a little bit more seriously about becoming a journalist and realizing that there are some sort of very real barriers to the industry. And I think one way to get over those barriers is through education and getting a degree. I had known about how robust Annenberg was in the journalism education, and it made sense for me to pair international relations with journalism because I want to go abroad and, and be a conflict photographer. I chose to do the specialized journalism program to become a better writer. There's certainly like a symbiosis between the writing and the photography. I've been able to like inform the writing a lot by how I would sort of pick out a scene for my photos. I took Professor Richardson's class last fall. That was really helpful in how to report on communities that have been mistreated by journalists in the past. I did a piece on a mother that had lost her child and grandson to a domestic violence incident. She opened up these massive photo books. What stood out to me is that at some point we were going through the books and the photos just stopped, but there were still pages and pages and pages to fill. But I wrote the story and I pitched it to a local Hispanic media outlet called Colo News and I ended up getting it published. It really is probably one of the pieces I'm most proud of writing and then sort of translating that experience into the international realm. For spring break I went to India for Diane Winston and Alan Middleshed's class on reporting on religion. And I have to say it was probably the most impactful 10 days in my whole master's degree. You're thrown into an environment where you don't speak the language, you don't quite understand the culture. I just remember like stepping out of the hotel and, and sort of being like, okay, time to go to work. Particularly Annenberg, you're in an environment that's as close to the professional world without being in the grown up world quite yet. There's a lot of opportunities at USC that will put you face to face with the realities of being a journalist anywhere in America but because you are still at school, you still have the opportunities to make mistakes and be a student. This past year has just felt invaluable in that sense.